Hi guys, it's cold today. <laughs> I don't know. This is like um, March weather out back east here. It's stupid. This is May. I live down here, guys. I know what it's like. What the hell is going on with this weather? Okay, my boobs. I don't want to be a man. Okay, here. <laughs> Let me do something creative here without flashing you guys. So I'm lifting up my bra and there, look. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm not, how else am I supposed to do this? I really hate having to do this. This is freaking me out because, you know, look, can you see my boobs? Okay, these are my nipples and I don't want, I don't really like wearing a bra anyway. I'm doing it to protect my breasts from getting breast cancer from this spray or whatever the hell this dust is okay but look this this is me my cute little boobs I have small tiny boobs they're getting back to their normal size um, because the stuff that whoever is dispensing actually caused a lot of problems so see this is this is me I can do under boob right I'm not trying to be like flashing you guys but I'm getting the idea that's and this is very upsetting to me because I'm tired of being dehumanized like this but I'm getting the idea so I be, son I basically I did this without you in here but I took my sports bra and I lifted it up over so they could see the shape of my breasts and my nipples and everything uh, for my shirt got it so you know this is it's all me see I have my sports bra on and a sports bra it kind of makes me look fuller chested and I don't like that as a dancer mm. it's really uncomfortable because it uh, you know they get in the way when you dance you know but I don't want to get rid of them so and, when I said huh and you switch phones the pictures are on the other one. Oh, okay do you have them the other phone oh yeah okay here you go and this one will be right here for you all right be right back okay so when I said I took care of that and I'm not going to have breast cancer anymore, most likely, it was in surgery. I don't have money to do surgery. <laughs> yeah, right. That's not what I meant. I meant that I'm wearing a sports bra and we took care of it that way. Oh my God. Just, oh my God. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> no, I'm all girl. And look at this. I'm going to show you again. Isn't this cute? My little my little bottom everything is see this is my rib cage right here and i'm getting all my muscle tone back up oh, there you can see it all of it's coming back it just it took time you know these crazy q people the q's right that's the name of the group they're trying to make me into something i'm not apparently but the heck hold on <sighs> by dispensing all of this stuff it apparently can mess up your hormones like a lot so I'm gonna sing a little bit for you again see if you get this look at this stuff isn't it neat wouldn't you think that my, wait, wait, wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a girl, a girl who has everything? Why am I singing that song for you? Well, more than one reason. I've always sounded this way when I sang. Um, I can do hard rock too, you know, gothic rock. I love that. And I'm very girly about it, but I, I know I have an intense register of my voice. I know you guys have heard me yell and you know. <laughs> but I can wail like Pat Benatar, Terry Nunn, you know, the, the best of them. And, you know, that doesn't mean that they're men or want to be men. And it doesn't mean that I want to be a man just because I know how to sing rock music and I know how to get into the lower registers. Okay, so, um... I, I don't know how much more I need to show you guys, but I'm a girl. I want to be a girl. I don't want to be a boy. Now, if there's somebody that does want to do that, fine. Knock yourselves out. Have fun. I just don't want that forced upon me. I don't want somebody to actually make me like that. And I have a feeling 
that what you guys are hint dropping. See, this is why I was getting confused. I thought you, the good guys, wanted me to become that, and that's why I was getting mad. So you guys are actually hint dropping that somebody's trying to do that to me, to us, my family, and it, it wasn't clear. It's not an easy thing to hint drop, and it's not an easy thing to get via hint drop. So, you know, that's why we got mad, guys, because it was really hurting me, because I'm like, why do you want to change me for? I like who I am. Like, a lot. And it was really upsetting, but I think we figured it out now. Sorry, you know what? It's just that this has been horrible to go through. And I'm not saying it's been easy for you guys either, but I'm just really kind of fucking done, okay? And yeah, I swear, that's my mom's fault. Anyway, see, my hair, it's mine. It's my hair, not an attachment. It thinned out. You know, I've shown you how thin my hair got. Um, but it's all mine. I still have it. You know, they were trying to get my hair off. And there's been very insidious hint drops about me losing my petals because Rose, my spiritual name, right? And I just don't understand how much evil there is in the world and why I'm being targeted like this because I don't do anything to anybody. It's really hurtful, okay? <laughs> I, do, I do a lot of work to support the LGBTQ community because I know what it's like to feel outcast. Not because of my sexual orientation, but because apparently Q makes it that way and makes people just hate on me and just give me a hard time through my whole life. And apparently it seems like they were actually trying to get us to commit suicide by doing all this kind of outcasting and hurting me, hurting my, my son and us all these years that we've been living. And it's just gotten to the point where, you know, I just, I just can't anymore. I, I'm just really kind of done with these people who are doing this and they need to be brought to justice and I need the truth out there like it should be. Hold on. I normally don't wear my hair back like this and, you know, when I'm doing like extreme point classical ballet, you have to, you know, and you put it up in the bun, but I'm just really trying to protect my hair the best I know how. Where's my hat? See my little girly hat. I also have one of these hats too, because you guys were hint dropping, this is good to wear, you know, so I do. It doesn't really help anymore though, but you know, so like this, but I, I don't want it. I don't want to be a man. I want to be a girl. That's all I want to be is a girl. Hold on, there's this guy that's walking right next to our car. The fuck is that? It's weird, guys. Anyway. Okay, I don't want to be a boy. <laughs> so anyway, we support the LGBTQ community because we want to. Um, it doesn't mean that I aspire or any of us aspire to be or change or do that. I want to be who I want to be. Okay, so you want to see, uh, hold on, let me fix this, it's buckling. Hold on, I'm trying not to grab at my boobs, because then I don't want people thinking that, you know, I'm some kind of slutty whore either. I just don't want my name being messed around with on any level. So, hold on, can you guys see? All girl, all girl, all girl, look at even this. So, something else I've learned, um, this stuff that's being dispensed, it causes this and different places in your skin to just hang, hang and the belly too. So what I know about nutrition and all of this other stuff, I've been able to, you know, help. Plus we got our vaccines and stuff. So anyway, I'm very upset today because we're finding out what we think you guys are saying and they really cues made you guys look just as bad as they were trying to make us look or weird or crazy or I don't know but it's not okay and guys you're gonna have to help us um we're putting pictures up
as much as we can, but we're also freaking out a little bit because we're like, well, why? I thought we did this and it's scaring us a little bit. Uh, Cues, we're not afraid of the whole bullshit thing with the government and how our country is found. I don't give a shit. That doesn't even scare me. The death threats, you know, okay, yeah, what else is new? <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I, this is my wedding ring. Just so you guys know, I don't know if you can see it, but my son's baby ring and the cross my husband gave to me when we were um, about to be married. This was my Christmas gift that Christmas before we got married. This is my mama's uh, chain. It was her body chain that she used to wear around her, her hips. I'm going to start crying. I miss my mom so much. <laughs> anyway. Okay, um, so guys, no, I'm not wanting to be a man. I like, I like girly stuff. I really do. I'm not much into pink, but I do like hot pink a lot. That's my third favorite col color. It's blue, burgundy, hot pink. And if I could, I would have like this super duper girly room where, you know, everything was just pink and hot pink and, you know, real girly. Maybe, maybe I can do that at some point. Wouldn't that be fun? And just have it my little playroom, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Not that I'm immature, but I do. Now, I'm also very athletic. You have to be a little bit of an athlete to do dance. So, Katherine Hepburn wore pants. My grandmother Eleanor wore pants. Like they would wear the culotte type pants, you know, so it looked almost like a long skirt. And it was very elegant. I don't like pants at all. Like at all. Like, not. <laughs> Why? One reason is a practicality. I get yeast infections very easily like that. Okay, I don't, I just don't, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, um, I look hot in them, you know, tight jeans or, um, you know, like my dance stretch latex pants, spandex, whatever latex, I don't know what the hell it's made out of now. Um, that's an 80s throwback. <laughs> Show my age. Oops. Uh, so, I, I don't know what you guys need to see, but I'm getting the idea that you just want to keep seeing, you know, different viewpoints of my boobs. <laughs> I don't know why. I just showed you my, not bearing my nipples, but showing you my nipples from underneath my, you know, my sports bra. So, no, I'm not slowly going through a change of anything. My hormones are fine. Um, my voice is still what it was. I do know that these people who are, you know, dispensing around us and gassing us are trying to do something with that. And it's not cool. You guys, the government, our friends who are really on our side, other countries who love us, you guys have to step up. What? Do you want me to do? I can't. I'm stuck in a car, for Christ's sake. You know, there's only so much I can do. Um, and you guys have to help us. I mean, we are getting more scared of the good guys than the bad guys because it's like that's what's being portrayed to us in the feeds. Like you guys have ditched us, and then you know we're getting mad, and then some really insidious hint drops. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Uh, it's really kind of frightening. And then after that SNL show, oh my god, that was horrible. No wonder why the cast wanted to stay home. It wasn't because of Elon. They've had millionaires before. They've had, you know, people who did weird shit before. They're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna ditch because of that but something like what those skits were oh my god um, especially the murder the dirter shirter thing I'm like that's my name I don't know what was written on the page but that's how it sounded so I think somebody needs to go to NBC Universal and say WTF and we still love you guys we love the artists 
the cast members. We love Elon. Nothing weird, guys. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, uh, Miley, we love you. It's, it's nothing like that. It's just, you know, look at the writers and producers. Um, really ask them, WTF? Why? You know, some of it helped us. And some of it was just so disturbing that it just seared our souls, you know? Like, nothing that physically you feel, but something you feel spiritually as just positively wicked and evil and satanic. Like, from the deepest pits of hell. And they were trying to portray Elon as, you know, the evil villain, Wario. My son explained this stuff to me. I don't know. Whatever. You want to be a gamer? I could be a gamer girl, too, you know, but not that stuff so much. I'm not up on it. So he explained it to me, and I'm like, oh. I was like, I'm on trial? And then, so he's told me, and we figured it out. It's like, no, no, no. You're evil double or whatever. The skewed version of me that's saying that I came out of the closet as a trans man or a trans boy is, is what I want to be, and it's not. So that person is kind of like on trial in a sense. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because we knew that there was some weird stuff going on behind the scenes and I'm like um guys no I think I actually need to present myself physically to Congress not just via video and via you guys but I I need to say something here okay I I need to let you guys know what's happening in my life I need to I want to say something and I'm tired of either cues or third parties or even the good guys thinking that they know what's best for me all the time. When do I get to speak and represent myself for who I am? I spent my whole life fighting for my voice and the expression of it. And it's all female. I'm a girl. I don't want to be anything else. I don't want to be anything else. And I have no facial hair at all. At all. Nothing. I don't shave. <laughs> my armpits. I'll shave my armpits. You know, down here, a little French thing going on. Sorry, I mean, I don't know what you guys want. I have to be a little graphic because, hey, apparently my life is at stake. What am I supposed to do? So, oh, here, you guys want to see more of my boobs again? That's what I'm getting. We're seeing videos in your video feeds that are like, hi, I'm a girl. Hi, I'm still a girl. <laughs> I don't get it. Is this right? And then you want me to raise my arm up like this? I'm a girl. I'm a happy girl there's nothing boy about me here do you want me to show you again lifting this up and you can look all right this is ridiculous i even have to do this hold on there oh god i hate wearing bras ah. see look cute little old me there my boobs all my boobs but I have to wear this stupid sports bra that is very ow, uncomfortable. There. There's still me. I'm still me. <laughs> do I need to do a picture with pasties on? I don't know what you guys want. Um. Yeah, so anyway, look at all me. There's rib cage, all bones, under boob again. Oops, let me not flash you guys. See? That it's all me. So if you want me to start dressing in my dresses, can you turn up the heat here a little bit? This is ridiculous. It's freezing. It, it, this is not right weather at all. So I guess I'm just going to have to wear my dresses and find my ballet tights or something. <laughs> because I'm like, how am I going to do this? You guys keep hinting, wear pants. Yeah, you guys keep doing that because 
when you wear pants, it protects your legs from the stuff being sprayed, right? The nitric acid and everything else that's in that. Um, so, anyway, I don't know what else to say. So is this what you guys have been hint dropping at all this time? That is not an easy hint drop to get. Let me tell you, that's not an easy hint drop to display, except coming right out and saying, hey, no, well, somebody's like pretending to be you, and it's most likely the Q group that's implementing it and supporting it and making it happen, and they're writing notes to your, what, my family, people, I don't know, saying that I'm coming out as a trans male, guy, boy, whatever, I, no. I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be, so, um, anyway, I'm not a happy camper with all of this, obviously, you guys kind of need to just not be afraid, and, um, you need to fess up and come out with our truth the reality of the world, the truth of the world, like factually, literally, and I need to, you know what, this is annoying the hell out of me. I don't like wearing my hair like this. I seldom wear my hair like this. I'll wear it in um, double braids, right? And I usually, I'll have bangs that kind of fall here. This is a protection look. I'm really tired of it. I, I just, I don't want to wear my hair like this anymore, guys. It also kind of pulls at my scalp, so it gives me a little bit of a headache. But see, it's all my hair. It's all me. Boy, do we need showers. Boy, do we need manicures and all this great groovy stuff to help us feel more normal again and you know ow I'm not into bling but I'm into beauty and you know I don't like wearing a lot of makeup there it thinned out I've been told it'll grow back, so, you know, here's to that happening sooner than later. My son's hair is already growing back, but see, it's, it's all my hair. Mine. <laughs> it's mine. I want to keep it. So, guys, you need to know that there are very nasty, insidious people out there who are trying to make me lose my hair. And they say, you know, to shear my petals or pull off my petals and all of this stuff. And I'm not happy about that and it needs to stop and you guys need to rescue us before things get worse, okay? Like, no kidding. Really, kind of stop and help us because things are just going to get worse. Things seldom get better. You have to actually address it. Yeah, I know. Everyone's down on Dr. Phil. Cancel Dr. Phil. And hey, guys, we know who's on the meatloaf list. So don't worry about that. We know. But the thing is, don't don't people like that hide and disguise themselves in the perfect thing? Hey, I'm a Christian preacher. Hey, I'm this. Hey, I'm that, right? But what he taught is right. It's, you can't change anything you don't acknowledge. How can you? It's impossible. You have to actually acknowledge what the problem is, communicate very well, and then you can solve the problem. But I get it. How can you communicate? How do you communicate when you can't communicate? Well, sorry, I'm just trying to fix this hair. But anyway, see, you can see it's all my hair. All my hair. I have very curly hair, and uh, when the weather is like this, it, it kinks up like this. There. See? Me. I love my hair. I don't want to get rid of it. I like long hair. <laughs> On me, anyway. Okay, there. See? Ta-da! My hair. Long. It's growing really, really long. Like I said, I lost a lot of it. It's growing really long. 
So I'm gathering you guys want me to look more like a girl like in dress and everything but guys all of our stuff is in the u-haul which is right in front of me and how am i supposed to get everything out i mean i don't even know where my clothes are if we take everything out now it's just gonna get rained on or whatever this is today i i, I can't do that you know here Look, I have other dresses that I've been wearing. Don't you guys see the videos? This is a real cute little, you know, bodycon dress that I wore just the other day. I put this over my, um, you know, my, oh, where are they? Oh, hell. Where are they? Ah, here they are. We get, we can't find anything in here. So here are my black stretch dance pants. They need a wash in. See? And I wore this under this with the, where are my green socks? I don't know. I can't find anything. Everything is right here and I can't find it. You know how that goes. Small spaces are bullshit. You cannot operate and function. You just can't. You can't find anything because you shove things wherever you need to. Anyway, I like, I like feminine looking hats. This, this, I only wear this to protect my hair and my scalp. Fashionably, I like girly hats like this. And this cute, look, has a little bow on it so I can wear it this way. Some days I put it this way too. But this, uh, bad. I hate wearing this. I bought them for my son and, you know, for us to share. I have a pink one somewhere. I don't know where the hell it is, but it's somewhere. But normally, I like to wear my hair like this. Look how thin it's gotten. I hate this. So, yeah. My little mermaid hair today, right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's like kind of... Whatever. So, I mean, I could start wearing my dresses that I have. I have that one. I have my Alice in Wonderland dress, the blue one that I wore at the FDR Memorial. I thought it would be a cute little thing. You know, I wore my hat and I had my parasol. Where the hell's it? See, my little parasol. So this was given to me as a Christmas gift because my mom liked daisies and she had just passed away. So my son and husband bought me this. So if it was raining, I would never feel like it was really raining. This makes me feel like the sun is out because I think of my mom. So anyway, I did my little Alice in Wonderland thing. I thought it would be cute. And um, I did my little dance poses. So. I don't know. I'm all girl. I don't want to be a boy. Sorry, men. I love you men as you, okay? <laughs> but I don't want to be you. I still want to make babies. I still want to, um, you know, do all those beautiful things. So. Anyway. Um, okay, so... I was gonna show you guys a little bit of this makeup thing. Hold on. Yeah, see the skin is looking really good. Really good. I put a lot of effort into it. More now than I ever had. And it's not because I'm vain, but I'd rather be seen as that than a boy. Holy shit. But no, I'm not vain, guys. Um wait a second, where is hold on. Aha. We gotta clean this damn vehicle. It is a mess. So we're still here in DC. Let me show you. Does this prove it enough? Let's see. Here's the park. <laughs> 